Okay, so we're nearly there. It's now time to configure the Zabbix front end. So before we do that, we need to make sure that Apache 2 is restarted. So it's been done in that step there, but I haven't done that yet. So I can do sudo service Apache 2 restart. Excellent. And just check its status. Okay, very, very good. Now to visit the IP address in the browser as mentioned here slash zabbix so my ip address is that so ip address slash zabbix enter and it says welcome to zabbix 6 excellent so i've only got one language on my server but we can configure that later so i'm going to have to just go with english okay so next step everything is saying okay here we can confirm that as long as everything's okay that's good next my database type was MySQL. The host was localhost. Database port zero. Just use default because it's all local. Database name Zabbix. Store credential in plain text or if you're using HashiCorp Vault. I'm just going to go with plain text. Password was what I used for my Zabbix user. And next step. Okay, so that's all good. Now, Zabbix server name, you can put anything you like there. It's up to you. I'm going to call it zabbix.sbcode.net. It's up to you. Default system time. I'm in the UK, so UTC zero. You can choose whatever you want. Default theme, blue. I'm just going to stay with blue. Excellent. Next step. Okay, that's all very good. Press next. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Zabbix front end. Now, if you ever need it, there's a configuration file there that was created. Okay, so finish. Okay, excellent. Now, the username and password by default is admin with a capital A, and the password is Zabbix. Sign in, and we've logged into our new Zabbix server. Excellent. Now, since that password and username is default, we should just change that straight away. So, administration users admin change password i'm going to make something else that's more complicated and update and very good now also that url is visible on the internet because i'm using a publicly accessible server from DigitalOcean. one extra thing i can do is enable a firewall for my droplet now you should be able to do this in any cloud provider you use so i'll show you how to do that in DigitalOcean. Okay, so I'm on my DigitalOcean account, there's my Zabbix sbk.net droplet there. If I look at manage down here, there is a networking option. I can go to firewalls and I can create a new firewall. I'm going to call it Zabbix FW for firewall, for example. So it's giving me a default SSH port 22. Port 22 is the default port when you access your server over SSH. So when you're using PuTTY, this program here, SSH, it's connecting on port 22. Okay, so I'm going to actually just delete all IPv4 and IPv6 and just only allow my computer that I'm making this video from. So the IP address of that, if I go to a search engine and type, what is my IP? That's my public IP address. I'm only going to allow that IP address. So there, press enter so it commits. That's good. Now the user interface, this one by default, is listening on port 80. So I'm going to create a firewall rule for port 80 that only allows my computer to connect. So new rule. HTTP, which is default port 80. Going to delete those two there. And once again, put that IP address, press enter. Now... They're the only two rules so far. I'll be creating more rules as we progress. All the outbound, I'm going to leave as default. Now I'm going to apply to a droplet. Zabbix. I'm going to find it. There it is. Zabbix spcode.net. And create firewall. Okay, so my Zabbix firewall. If I look at it, and it's enabled for my Zabbix spcode.net server. So if you were to try that IP address slash Zabbix, you wouldn't get it. Only my computer can get it. So if that is important for you, then I recommend setting up a firewall. If you're using Hetznut, the way to set up a firewall is very similar. If it's AWS, you'll be creating a security group for your EC2. And other cloud providers will have their own terminology as well. But that's the idea. So anyway... You should have now your own Zabbix server that only you can access if you've set up the firewall like I have. Excellent.